This question is asking us whether the following algebraic inequality is true, translating from the question. The fact that x is an integer may or may not be important. Let's turn to the answer choices, looking at them separately first. Statement 1 gives us values for y and z that we can plug into our expression of interest. Plugging them in, we get the following expression. We can expand the right side by multiplying out the 2. At this point, we could try to compare the first terms and the second terms of the inequality, or we could try to get the 5s on one side and the 3s on the other. Let's try the latter route by bringing the 3s over to the left side and the exponents with the bases of 5 over to the right side. Now, to get a sense of what's going on here, we can try testing a few simple cases. Let's try the case of x equals 1. In that case, plugging it in, we get the following expression. And computing the exponents directly, we find that 9 minus 6 is less than or equal to 25 minus 10, or 3 is less than or equal to 15. In other words, the inequality is true for x equals 1. Moreover, looking at what's going on here, the difference is going to get bigger and bigger between the left side and the right side for larger values of x. And we have to worry about only positive integers here for x. Higher values will increasingly amplify the fact that 5 is a higher base than 3. Moreover, the first term on each side will grow much faster than the second term, so the difference expressed on the right side will get big fast. We can try x equals 3. In this case, plugging in the value for x and once again computing directly, we can see that the left side is only about 20, whereas the right side is a couple hundred. Indeed, it has grown much more quickly. We can convince ourselves that the gap will grow only larger with larger x. Statement 1, therefore, is sufficient. Statement 2, we can note quickly, is insufficient. It says not a thing that bears on y and z. Therefore, the correct answer is A.